So you guys have played opponents that just seem to figure out a way to bomb you for one play touchdowns and you can't seem to figure out how to do that for yourself on offense. Well, if that's the case, then today's video is absolutely for you. We're gonna keep this short and sweet today, guys. We're gonna go over a few different coverages you can bomb for one play touchdowns and a few different ways that you can set these things up. And let's be honest, certain coverages, if your opponent knows what's coming, there's no way to bomb it for a one play touchdown. But today's video is all about creating one play touchdowns. So it's about getting your opponent into specific coverages, then setting up to bomb them. So the first thing I like to, like to do is point out that today we're gonna be working out of the Philadelphia Eagles playbook. I specifically like to run bunch offset in Philadelphia Eagles playbook, but the concepts I go over in this video, you can use pretty much universally if you get creative, <clears throat> creative in other formations as well. And you know, certain plays are obviously just gonna be better for doing this. Certain plays have routes that are just built in. All you have to do is make one hot route and it's, it's cooking certain types of coverages. And we're gonna go over that a little bit today. So first thing is I'm just gonna come out in my, in my regular um, offense and let's say they're coming out and they're wanting to zero blitz me, right? So they're coming out and they're wanting to zero blitz me. We're on the left hash. Make sure you set up your audibles pre-snap. If you don't know how to do that, make sure you comment down below. I'll do a video on that. And make sure that you're looking at the bottom right corner for my controller input so you know exactly how I'm hot routing what I'm hot routing, all right? So I like to come out in this, this run, but today we're not talking about runs. We're talking about one play touchdowns. Okay, now here they are in cover zero, right? So let's, uh, let's go ahead and audible to corner out dig we're gonna get a corner route out there on the field and if they're in cover zero guys um let's go ahead and just send a lot of blocking and you know we'll, we'll see if that corner route just go ahead and you know okay let me backtrack a little bit we are playing with the dolphins today we're playing in the eagles playbook we're playing with the dolphins because they have a ton of speed so that's a huge element to one play touchdowns if you have slow players you're going to have far less one play touchdowns. If you have speed advantages, that's like step number one to getting one play touchdowns. So we have speed advantages today. Obviously, we have Tyree Kill. We have Jalen Waddle and Robbie Chosen. So we're going to go ahead and see if this is just a one play touchdown right here. Wow. <laughs> um, <clears throat> they bagged. But it's okay. We're just going to we're going to go ahead and run that back. Um, we're going to go ahead and run that one back player. So let's... Uh, so the first principle is if it is in cover zero and you know there's going to be no help over top, don't have any routes getting in the way of it. Man, they are screaming right now. And that's the benefit of cover zero. So let's switch it up. Let's say let's go to this post. Let's go to this post play. OK, so see if we'll get that post. Of, yep, that's that's a one play touchdown right there. Boom. That's a one play touchdown. So that's that's cover zero. And this play, I wanted to get into this when when they were switching into zone, but this play is absolutely going to destroy for one play touchdowns if you don't have the proper coverages out there. Now, obviously, if they do stuff like press one V one or stuff like that, like see how Tyreek's pressed right here. Let it let's just uh, let's just let's just put a streak out there. He's pressed, right? Oh, he didn't have him pressed. That was the blitzing db and see that's the benefit of playing defense that confuses your opponent i got confused there because i don't know the exact play that my opponent's in i you know people don't really run this and you know when you're when you're not used to seeing a specific look that can throw you off but let's go ahead and um choose a new play so say you figured out how to bomb them for one play touchdowns cover zero it's probably the easiest one because basically it is just get a speed receiver get get them free down the field and then pass lead it up the field that's simple that's easy right but what if they go to zone, right? So you're going to come out in the same play. Say they come out in, um, you know, what's nickel over, you know, let's say they just come out and cover three sky, right? Just a straight up cover three sky nickel over. Well, then we have a play like this. So this this drag the tight ends on is going to pull coverage down. If there's any coverage from these linebackers going to the to the middle of the field, that's going to pull it down and get Robbie open. Robbie chosen X, the X receiver open. And the, the, the DB that's directly lined up over Robbie, he's going to either have to back up and cover Robbie, 
or he's going to allow a one play touchdown to waddle over top because as soon as waddle clears that middle safety in the middle of the field that's going to be one play touchdown if that um corner doesn't back up enough in that zone coverage so i'm gonna show you what i mean right now okay and uh they had a they had a good <clears throat> a good four-man rush right there so let's go ahead and try to run that back one more time thing but as you can see that corner on that left side is actually getting sucked down we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and get this but this is how you get a one play touchdown versus zone coverage <laughs> oh my gosh okay Tua. you know i picked i picked this for the speed receivers but you know if you have a pass lead ability if you have set feet lead or you have gunslinger bruh <laughs> if you have set feet lead or you have gunslinger that's gonna help a ton as well but this is the concept you want to go for i'm gonna i'm gonna throw this i'm gonna throw this yeah there you go and you know if you have set feet lead or you have gunslinger you can you could fire that in there and it's a rack bro so i'm gonna try to get this as a there we go come on come on waddle and it's a bad throw, bro. I should have I should have passed let it. Okay, come on, come on. And you're seeing this live, bro. I'm trying to do this with Tua. Because if you do it with Tua, you could do it with the slinger easy. Gun gut, set feet lead and all that. There we go. There's your one play touchdown against cover three right there. All right, guys. If today's video helped you out, please go ahead and drop it a like. Please go ahead and comment down below and let me know if, if have any one play touchdown concepts that you would like to go into in the future. You know, should we go over a one play touchdown for cover four? That's a little bit more advanced or cover two is a little bit more simple so i went with cover zero to get them into a balanced coverage like cover three and then you know there's classics for beating cover three but um this is basically it so if you're in another formation you basically just you know you just wow okay well that 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 just happened so anyway you just put a comeback route on the outside and you get a post over top and then hopefully like a clear out that's gonna get the middle the middle guy held basically is what i'm saying that's why i put the streak there from the slot receiver on tyreek but all right guys i'm getting out of here i hope today's video helped you make sure you head over to the madacademy.com to get signed up for your first course today if you really want to take your madden game to the level and just get deep into this stuff that i can't go over <clears throat> stuff you know a level of detail i can't get into in one of these short videos make sure you head over to the madacademy.com to get signed up for your first course today and let me know how it's going for you and your journey but all right guys um but all right, guys, I'm getting out of here. I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoy this one. Peace.